Hey guys, welcome to Red Jewel Art. I'm going to do a triptych. There are three canvases that are 24 by, oh wait, 12 by 24. So first I'm going to go over all my colors. This is Deco Arts 24K gold. And I put in some of Golden's Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Gold. All my Goldens are, are the Fluid Acrylic. This is Essentials Cadmium Yellow, and it is mixed with Amsterdam's Naples Yellow Green Gold. I just wanted to tone that down a little bit. And the 24K, I did it just to tone down that yellow in it. So this is Payne's Gray, Golden's Payne's Gray, and I put a little bit of Artist Loft's black in it, just to darken it. And then my next color is a cloud over, and I'll go into that more later, but it's like a cloud over effect I'll put over the paints. And this is done with the Folk Arcs Melt Paint, and I found it in pink, it's hard to find it in white, and I used Amsterdam's um, Naples Yellow Green, and the Copper in Golden is what's all mixed into that. That gives it a tan look. So this is Iridescent Gold by Gold, or Iridescent Bronze by Golden, an iridescent copper by golden. I mix those two together. It makes such a pretty color. It kind of has like a brown look. This is golden's till. I didn't mix anything with it. It's just till. And then this one right here is the bright aqua green in Liquitex Basics. This is a mix of a lot of different greens. So I have Deco Arts. It's a suede paint. It is beautiful olive green. It does have a little grainy texture because it's a texture paint, but I love it. And I mixed it with the phthalo green by Golden and the, gold, the green gold and then turquoise all by Golden. Okay, this is Cerulean Blue Hue by Liquitex Basics mixed with turquoise. And then this one right here is Artist Love's Metallic Cobalt Blue. I do like to mix a lot of my colors. <laughs> I never don't usually end up using any that are just that color by themselves but so now I'm gonna put all the colors in this little box it's so handy pizza comes on top of it when they deliver your pizza to have it off the ground but it's really good to have something like this that way when you're tipping your canvas you can have the, your paints out of the way and you won't drip into them I just have this small ta table in my dining room, so don't really have the room. So I'm going to show you how now how to mix. This is Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue. And I'm going to mix it with the Golden's Payne's Gray. And it's one part paint, two parts Floetrol. And I know my table's going to shake here in a minute because every time I touch my table, it shakes because I have the camera sitting on top of it so that I'm able to get you guys that view of all three canvases. So I'll mix that up really good. And all my paints and all 
and my base is all mixed the same. They all have Floetrol, um, Golden's GAC 800, and a pouring medium. There's the GAC 800. And I'll, I'll show you my pouring medium in just a second. I got this pouring medium at um, Hobby Lobby. I've actually really liked it. It was like $25, so it wasn't bad. I usually use Liquitex, but I just happened to see that, and so I bought it. And I've liked it. So I'm going to mix that up really good. And make sure it's scraping the sides and get all that paint mixed in really good. Then I'm going to start adding water. This takes a little bit of time because if you add it slowly, then that way you can see and get that consistency perfect. Usually I just <laughs> dump some water in there because I know about how much water goes in. But to show you guys, I'm doing it slowly. And it's you don't ever want to do more than like 40% water. So, because you don't want to break your paint. You know, have it. I don't know how to explain that. It just breaks. It no longer has that binding to it. But that is also why we add the pouring medium in the GAC 800. GAC 800 stops it from crazing. And when you do your paints really thin, you want to make sure you're, you're using this. Um, I've done it without the GAC 800, and I've done okay with it, but I do definitely better with. I'm just going to keep adding and keep adding until I get it right. So pipe ups are really great for adding water. So you can do just a little at a time. And you could count like, okay, I've had to add 10 pipe ups. Then maybe next time you could just start with that amount. Or maybe start with 8 and then work to the 10. Because it depends on if you have thicker paints or not. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I do the cloud effect. So this paint is actually going to go on top. So you've already laid down all your paints and you've tilted your canvas. It will go down on top of that and it gives a really cool effect. Um, you can do this with satin enamels too. I just like it better with the melt paint. I do have satin enamels, but I like the paint. I like it done better with the melt paint for this effect. So I tend to like this to be three, one part paint, three parts Floetrol. Um, I'm trying to make a gray. So I'm adding the Amsterdam Snapple Yellow Green Gold. And then I'm going to add the Payne's Gray. And I was really happy. I wasn't sure if I was going to get the color I wanted, but I did. I was really happy. And this one, too, will have the GAC 800 and Floetrol pouring medium. It just, I, I like to put a little more Floetrol in this than I do normally. Alright, so there's the flow trowel. Get that all really mixed in good. I think I do end up adding a little more Payne's Gray. As you can see though, it's such a pretty gray. Which is perfect for laying down over your paints. And then you can lay paints into it.
Um, I will tell you guys that you'll see when I do my triptych, I end up the next day adding more to it. But I do show you how I do that, so. So hopefully you can see, kind of, see I'm adding the water myself here <laughs> instead of the pipette. But I hope you can see the consistency in this one a little bit better. I picked the wrong color to show you with when I did the Prussian blue. But this one you can see a lot better. I probably should have held it up to the camera. My back was really hurting because I'm having to lean to show the camera. So. All right. So now I'm going to show you how I mix my base paint. And get all that cleaned up. Um, my base is Bear's Satin Enamel in the Ultra White. It's that can that you can see right there on the right side. It has like a blue top on it. The, ba the band on the top of it is kind of like a blue color. Um, the cups I'm mixing in are 18 ounce cups. Um, I think I'm, all right, so right now here I'm actually putting the paint in. Well, it's about a third of the way up. And then I'm going to add the GAC 800. And the pouring medium. And then I'm going to mix that really good. And then I'm going to add the Floetrol. This, I, I don't know how much Floetrol that is, but then you, it's about, I would say, two parts paint, one part Floetrol. Then you add the Artist Loft. And this Artist Loft, I thought I bought Artist Loft's Flow Acrylic, and it's not. But it's worked really great. I think it says something about being a heavy body. I wish I had it right here with me. I can't remember. I don't know if they're not doing the Artist Loft's Flow Acrylic anymore. If anybody knows, let me know. But I, now I'm adding the wa the water and I'm sorry I'm out of frame when I'm adding the water, but I was having a hard time leaning towards into the camera with my back. But it's going to be the same consistency of, of the paints. It just lifted up, and if it goes right back into itself without any mound, then you're good. Um, I... I think I had it in too big of a cup there, but it's pretty close. All right, to save a little bit of time, I edited out some of that. It took me a little bit to get that right, but you can see it is just running right off the stick and goes right back into itself. It's pretty hot here in Utah, so I had to make sure it was thin enough. But now I'm going to get you down to the canvas and I'm going to let you guys listen to some music while I paint.
I just wanted to show you guys how I line up my triptychs. So usually I start with the middle one, but on this one, because it has the biggest amount that's going to be on the canvas, I started it with it first. So on this one, what I'm going to do is, I, so I kind of just tilt towards it so I can see if it's lining up. And I just keep checking it. I just keep tilting towards and seeing if it's lining up. See how I keep setting my canvas down? I have this sped up if you'd like to see it slower. Click on those three little dots and you can change your speed. So you can see how it's a little high on that bottom. So I'm tilting it down. And there I have it lined up perfect, but the top part isn't lined up, so I do end up fixing that. But I wanted to move to the third canvas first. Now this one I needed to put more gray on there to give it the look it needed. So that that gray continued. And I did drip on my canvas. So you can see how I just keep tilting, trying to get things to line up. And right here I'm fixing that spot I'm talking about. And of course I dripped. But I fix it. <laughs> so now they line up. See, you can fix your drips. Take off the paint. Add a little more gray. Oh, right here. So I'm tilting it so that the, the gray matches. See how the gray didn't line up right there? But I also needed to fix it on the other side. So I just, if it needs more paint there, I just add it. It makes it actually really simple if you just kind of just go with it and figure you can fix it after and make things line up. Um, I do tilt off a lot of paint because this technique, you don't want too much paint on the canvas. You can see I'm already getting those pearls popping up, that cloud effect popping up in the first one I tilted. And that I was just fixing it so it lines up. I end up not liking that um, that one on the left, and I scrape just the color part. Because I got that gray to line up perfect. I wasn't about to scrape that. I figured I'd sit and talk to you guys about the this next part so that I can explain. Here I'm taking my palette knife because I had to add that little gray to the other side. Um, I'm going to take my palette knife and just kind of wisp it out, give it more of that natural look to it. And see, I did have something on there I don't like. I just cover it up with more white. kept getting gray popping up in places. So now I just like to take my palette knife and just pull little little wispies coming out. Giving it more character, you know? It's a really cool effect to give it. I wanted to uh, be talking and show you guys um, the cloud over part I was talking about. So right there I just took some um, of that 
Prussian blue onto my palette knife so that I could pull out the color. And so right there is that cloud over gray I was talking about. And I'm just adding it to parts and you will see it as it actually pops. It starts to give that cloudy look. And then you just add color to on top of it. And okay, so right there I am sucking up paint where there's too much paint. I'm sucking it up with the pipette. Now I'm adding gold, Prussian blue, adding it to the other side so it kind of lines up. And that's the cloud over gray with the gold. And you just kind of play with it and give it, let it get that look you're, you're wanting. If you look at the right side, you'll see that that cloudy look is starting to happen. It sucks. I worked on that part right there so long and then I ended up hating it. And so I, I scrape it. I take my trusty Lowy Buffy scraper and it's awesome. Pop, scrape that right off. It's nice because I'm able to just scrape what I want. I just was way too thin. I didn't have much to it, I felt like. There I was trying to give it kind of a cloud look um, the pot for the pearls to pop. So you can use, sometimes like put down that cloud over um, color to it and dab a little white in there and you'll get those that pearled look and it just wasn't happening so and so I end up doing it to that side too and I end up not liking it and uh, but it's nice because you know you'll see I add some white put some more color on there blow on it and it turns out really pretty. This side I just hate all together. Oh, you'll see. I'm just going to end up putting white on there. For that Prussian blue. Tilt it. And then I take a straw. And I blow it. It's one of those big straws. So it when you blow on there with the, that cloud look too, it works really good. I end up actually liking that spot I put the white down. It's probably my favorite part of the painting. It ends up looking really cool. Um, when you're pulling colors through like that to give it that little cracked look in the in it, Make sure you always wipe your palette knife because it's going to have white on it after. And if you go back onto the color, it's going to end up um, putting white in a spot you don't want white. So here I go. I'm scraping. See how easy that was? <laughs> I wanted it to have a lot uh, I wanted it to be wider you know thicker it just seemed so plain I really didn't like it and this ended up really pretty
All right, I'm gonna let you guys listen to music. All right, here I decided that this was the next day. I add to the bottom of this canvas, um, to your top of uh, my bottom. I just felt like it needed a little bit more to it. I love negative space, but I kind of felt like it needed a little bit. So you can see I'm just doing what I did with the others. I'm putting that paint on the canvas to line them up. Um, it doesn't look lined up because I don't have the canvas lined up. <laughs> but there I'm putting the cloud over on and I put a lot on there. But this ended up really beautiful and I'm really happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I've only been doing this for a short time and I've had a lot of great comments and people saying they love my video and want me to do more. So that's what I'll be doing. Thank you guys. Um, you'll see this is a partial dried. You can see because half of this is already dried. But here at the end you'll see um, I'm going to show you here's the dried results. Well, this is the wet of what I just did, and the other part is the dry. But thank you guys so much. Um, I will catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.